right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but besides that, we don't really have that many women players that, yeah, at this level, let's say like this. We have had some at the European Championships, and they played for years, and they they were not bad, but just not. They never really beat Tamara, so I w yeah. Like I said, I'm surprised not to see Tamara. She played in Germany, but she didn't play here. That's true. So, but there are yeah. Oh. Yeah, that that was unexpected. Hmm. Yeah, and this is what Savannah needs. <laughs> Absolutely. But more and more Europeans are, are playing the overseas events now for us. So that's like me. Well, that's my first event. But this, the Spanish girls, like Amalia, Matas and Maite, Ropero, they, they already played uh, another WPBA event. And now we have players from Portugal, Turkey. Oh, and also the there was there was here. one girl from Australia here. She flew here. I mean, I was surprised when I heard that, but it seems that nowadays all the women players want to travel, and I think it's a good thing. It's a good experience. That's great. Well, the prize money is very good for us. I mean, we don't we don't really have events like this in Europe, except for the Predator ones. To yeah. be honest, with that prize money. So. So it's worth it to travel. Oh, absolutely. So two to two, Savannah stole a game there. And she's back in the set. Both needing only two games. Lost the cue ball a little bit. Not managed to make a ball. Yeah, the balls didn't spread too well. So I think we're going to see another safety rock. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's tough, especially both players did lose their cue ball a couple times. And then when you only have the really small positional areas, it's just yeah really tough to not play safeties all the time. Oh yeah, absolutely. And with this rock here, you have you have many clusters, like the three, six, and ten. And of now course, she's if, you, if yeah. you manage the cue ball well, you you could you could do it. But uh, they're still not too comfortable with that. So there yeah, there is a three ten combination. Oh, she lost the cue ball. She tried to. Have the cue ball behind the 8, 10, 6. The opportunity here. If she cuts the 1 and have the cue ball at the other short rail, she can try to place the cue ball nice for the combination. But she overcut it a little bit and oh, she got a very fortunate there. Oh there yeah. was a big scratch Ooh. and this is a. Uh, Tough kick here. I'm not. I'm not even sure if she can kick this. Looks like there's a small gap behind the three and the ten, but the seven is on the way there. I think she can just play an intentional foul here too, just just to tie up the balls more and maybe move that three ten combination. Because uh, yeah, I think if, it doesn't if I make much the sense ball. to try to kick the ball anyway. It's so far away from the other ones. It's hard. It will be hard to. To re save, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I like to take the 10 away too. If she, I mean, especially if you don't have the kick, then why try something strange if you can? Yeah, she may, she may hit it, but okay, yeah, okay, it's not bad. But it was always gonna be tough to, to hide the one ball oh. being Our so far away from the other. Our friend, yeah. the fly, is back. Yeah, she's. Getting rid of it. It's a big fly, right? I yeah. said that before, and yeah, the locals told me, "Oh, this that's a small one." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, <laughs> it looks huge to me. Yeah, of course, it's annoying. Like I know we're using the shot clock, <laughs> but you know, 
I understand that they take a little bit more time for her. Of course. Five seconds, though. You know, what I like of these events is also that, like, for the first time in, I don't know, a long, long time in Germany, for example, the Predator Open, uh, some people from Canada came also overseas. So it's really nice to see uh, people from America coming to Europe and and the opposite. Yeah, you're not always playing the same yeah, Europeans in, like every tournament. Absolutely. Yeah. And there are many Asians here actually, Japanese, Taiwanese. So it's absolutely yeah, great it to it see does that. It does connect the pool world a little bit more. And I understand that not everybody's traveling to our Euro tour. I do understand, but it's a yeah, it's a pity. I would like to play the Americas at the Euro tour. I mean, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, and uh, talking about the Pro Billiard series. We are having a busy fall period ahead, having three more US Pro Billiard Series events coming in Michigan, Ohio, and Puerto Rico, and four cha world championships coming up, starting in Austria with the return of the Pair of the World Tembal for the women's and yeah. the World Teams Championships. So this will be exciting. It's something I never experienced the World Teams Championships. I never seen or like followed it so it's something new oh, for me okay. as well well i have i have played one oh. in china in 2014 but it was three three men or a woman okay and it was three individual if i'm i think three individual matches and one scotch doubles or two individual matches and one there was one mixed scotch doubles yeah that was so fun really yeah, so I I'm really, really looking forward to that. It will be very interesting. And uh, I think it's a good thing that new, these new things that were a pretty big thing back in the day, that they're coming back. Oh, yeah, like absolutely. Like the World 8-Ball World Championships are coming in Puerto Rico. Yeah, World 10-Ball for women also. Yeah. So it's a good thing. Pool is back yeah. on the calendar. Are you going to play in some of the men events or you don't know yet? I might. Hmm. You know, I like to show my face once in a while, but not too much. <laughs> oh, you're a good player. You should. <laughs> don't make me shy. Okay, let's go back to the match. So, only has to follow just a little bit. She prefer to, to live a straight Five ball. Yeah, I didn't really like that. I thought if she followed a little bit, she could go to the other side and shoot the six in the same pocket. That's what I probably would have tried. Or at least some angle where I can go forward two rails. And they always say when the two balls are frozen to the rail, this is the most difficult shot and pull. Yeah. To, because you have to miss the side pocket pull. Oh, absolutely. Luckily, I think sh the cue ball is not frozen. No, she has no she just a small gap. But, okay, well, I think the middle pocket point helped her. She might have gotten there. Let me see a little replay. Yeah, she somehow... <laughs> Did she, she somehow find? <laughs> so, just, just in the gap there. Wow. Well, that's a huge effort. I would probably uh, not try to play that, but... Yeah, she's totally yeah. straight. So... Uh, now she just left the cue ball there. The thing is, I, I'm. Do you think the eight ball passes the nine? No, it doesn't. I can see it from no. here. No. Yeah. So. Uh, it's tough. She needs to probably travel yeah, three rails forward. Oh. She made a foul. Yeah. Oh, she, she made touched. A foul. She touched the ball. Oh. She touched the ten ball, I guess. We didn't say that. Well, I would say young Savannah Easton has a good opportunity here. Just needs one nice positional shot. 
Oh yeah, she did. Uh, she moved the 10-ball quite a lot. Yeah, I was so focused on the 7-ball. So she needs to get straight on that A. And she should be okay from here. Shook her head a little bit. Still not happy. So she's taking the initiative again. I might choose to just slow roll this in. Don't really stun and do all this stuff. A little firm. But she left herself a little angle to work with. That's what I like. You don't want to get straight all the time. Little left spin. Oh! She's getting a little frustrated with uh, those misses. Yeah, she knows. Of course, this is the, the most important yeah. phase of the match. You can start off real well, and if you play bad at the end, then you're still a loser. So, yeah. of course, and this I'm is... I'm sure she, yeah. she doesn't miss this kind of shot quite Ooh. often. Oh, well, she's back. Earlier than she thought. <laughs> Yeah, she, she looked a little surprised when she stood up. She was like, oh, oh, me again? Really? Oh. She played that really low in the cue ball, too. Yeah, she called it too, too thick to hit that point. And another chance for Tony. Probably played three rails. Decided to leave herself a longer shot on the 10. I would have probably liked to go all the way back down table. Yeah, although I think she's all right. That's not, it's that's okay, not a yeah. bad shot. It's 10 ball, take a 3-2 lead. She's on the hill she in the this second one. set. <laughs> on the hill, one step closer to the shootout. To the shootout. Another one, maybe. Well, it shows Today. how close some of them matches are. Well, it's a short race, and that's the idea. To make it more exciting. Well, and if you can look at the average game, like if there's a good player and a bad player, they won't end up in a shootout. Like, it, it, it really does like make it even to shoot out yeah they're yeah in the last few games they're really playing quite similar they're both making some unforced errors I mean I I think it would be fair if it went to a shootout I think we have seen yeah, both absolutely. players play the same level no ball in Yeah, didn't leave much though, and again we have some clusters like the six and the seven. It won't be very easy to manage. Yeah, she's probably trying to get behind the three, nine, six, seven, ten, but yeah, I was scared this would happen. I don't think this was the right shot. You know, they have to be very patient to play so many safeties every every game. It's not easy to to keep your concentration when you when you have to play safety after safety, and then it's not easy to shoot straight after you play so many safeties. Actually, yeah, that's very true. And also, I can see that in the beginning she took a little bit more time by at least selecting a shot that looked reasonable. Now she's like the first thing she sees is like, okay, this is going to be it. So she's being a little bit too fast. Yeah. Oh. Maybe the, the beep got her this time.
Okay, still some work to do here. Especially the 6-7 is pretty tough. Yeah, she's looking like she can keep the cue ball, which I'm, which not, I'm, not, I'm sure. not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just tough if because she places with inside. Oh, well, not oh. with that speed, so. I'm not sure, she was checking something completely different and then she played yeah. this. That's what yes. I'm saying, like she's a little all over the place in her whole right. routine. Well, I think she's still playing on a shot clock. No, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that also makes a difference. You know, that she's probably rushing some shots, although I never heard the beep while she's playing, so she yeah. has quite enough she has time. More, she has more time. She doesn't time. have to rush anything. Yeah. Going for the jump shot. Needs to land exactly on top of the three. Calling in the corner pocket. I don't even think she took an extension in Ooh. the whole game. Difficult jump. I mean, they're both not, not really using their extensions a lot, which is, yeah, which is weird. Cause yeah, well, I think they need a little work on their time management. Oh, yeah. Just to make sure, like, sometimes you just need a little bit more time. You cannot really, yeah, know in 15 seconds what you're yeah, going to do. Yeah, of like course. Just and you have, you, you're, you're allowed one extension per rack. You can as well yeah. use it. Okay, so low right, move to real. She's playing a little high in the cue ball. Decided to play it inside. Okay, nice. I like that. Yeah, very nice shot. I was scared to maybe bump the 10 and then eventually don't really get on the yeah, 5, she, but she, she managed well. She just passed beside the, the 10 ball. Oh. Okay, and this is a little little trouble here. I mean, she can cue just pass by the seven, but that means she would play with right spin. And I would not like to play with this kind of spin on the six. Wow, but what she a shot. managed pretty well. That's a good shot here from Tony. But she's quite st straight on she's this seven. Straight. Well, she can just well, leave the cue ball there or draw a little bit, just not to be on top of the tempo. That's pretty good. I like that. She can float the A ball in, which makes it a bigger chance as well to make the eight because of the soft speed. Yeah, good shot. It looks like she's on her way to closing the second set. Oh. Oh. Probably she she was trying to go two rails. I think she the tempo, although she didn't need to. I think she had enough angle, right, to just draw. She might have Back. cut the nine ball a little bit too much. That's yeah. why the, the draw didn't really work. And mm. also okay. because of the speed. So going for the bank, it's okay, but the speed. Let's see. Hmm. I think, yeah, she, she left. She left it. And yeah, if it would stay on the long rail, it's still a difficult shot. The speed was better this time, though. Yeah, it yeah. Was very close to. To her intention. Oh, where is it? Kibo going? <laughs> it was hey, close, but she's three. still alive. Hill, hill in the second set. We're playing a race to four. Do we see the replay? <laughs> she hit yeah. that a little thin, and it was. Well, that, that's the second game I think Tony has given up by. I see the tempo. Yeah, she could have played a just a thin contact on the ten and just leave a lot of distance. I th I think she I would have liked that. Could have played that. safety. I, I think yeah, it yeah. would probably be the better option. 
But I understand you're on the hill, you lost the first set, you want to make something happen because yeah, you feel like you have to do something more than you did in the first set. So. Yeah, although her so, so strategy this set was better Yeah. safety play. So hill, hill, Savannah Easton to break. Well, Tony has to forget that mistake immediately because she's still in the match. I mean, she's yeah, she's still she can still yeah. go to shootout, and then you never know. She just has to take her time, I think, just not not rushing things. So she didn't leave a shot for Savannah. Yeah, she has to play real first. But what I see, she, she doesn't see any. Well, if she can hit the ball. inside of the one ball, she at least leaves a little spread. But she doesn't really want to hit the outside because there's a scratch. Well, she managed well. Just, yeah, tough to hide the cue ball with that big gap between the three and the nine and Tony checking if the two goes past the five I think it goes yeah I think it does go but she left a little bit more angle than I would have expected her to do So she might need to slow roll this. Okay, and is it going to Good stop control. in time? Good control, just, just a little bit. It's okay harder, though. But Did yeah. you, like, sh if she can make the three and uh, just run into the four soft, I think she's still in a favorable spot to end up with a shot after. Nice shot. Yeah. Good well executed. She can just play play a good safety from here and then Or she might have choose another to cut. chance. She might she might choose to cut no. She no, she's not cutting. <laughs> I like to jack up with left spin and go to yeah, the yeah, short I know rail what and you back mean, up. But, but she might be better no, she's looking at the pot. Yeah, I didn't. She it might didn't be better like off it to it just play the same. It was to me before, but but yeah, it is. Okay, so using her extension, she has no extension left, so this could get interesting for the rest of the game. The pressure is raising. So I thought. Oh, she miscued. Yeah. And uh, looks like it's a regular shot. And the referee didn't say anything. But anyway, she left a tough shot for Savannah. Yeah, she might choose to play safe on this. She might choose to make it in the top left and go to rails. It's a very difficult Almost. shot. Yeah. I mean, I would, good effort, I would only good shoot effort. this when I feel really comfortable, I guess. But that's me. But she left the cue ball on the rail. It's tough to get on that five ball mm -hmm. unless you jack up like she's doing. It's not well easy. Well, we saw her make some couple of these shots before. But not this time. And another... Interesting mm -hmm. situation here, being straight on the four. Just to cue with a little spin, so 
Yeah, that's you can see the four ball turned away from the yeah, bucket yeah, because absolutely. of the spin. So she forgot to change her aim a little bit because of the spin. But it's so uncomfortable when you only see only see on only see part of the cue ball when there is another object ball before. So the four nine. If she plays a stop shot, she oh Yeah, she she probably wanted to leave the four ball for the side. And back and forth action here. You can yeah. feel both players start Honestly. to struggle because the, the finish line is getting closer. Oh yeah. And they've been playing for two hours so or or so. So I'm pretty sure that yeah. They are tired. But they have to keep going. Just just one more game anyway. <laughs> So she's playing this with stun. She left herself just a long six ball. I think I would have liked to play forward, three rails, for the six in the other, in this view, the top right corner. Yeah. I like to be close, especially when I get towards the end. I like to just play really close shapes. But what she a played great a shot. great recovery shot there. and. Still no, hampered a little bit by the eight. N another tough one, yeah. She's jacked up. Might be able to draw, just go up and down. Can she go to rails, right? What a nice no, shot. Don't get on the rail. Two very nice shots under yeah. pressure. Oh, Can she add one more? She needs one more. We have many spectators here. Wow. Arena. That's a super shot. Okay, so I like to play this two rails. Play with right spin. She's playing five seconds per shot now. <laughs> yeah, she plays fast. Being Is close she, to the finish oh, line. She was playing one rail and... I'm not sure if she was worked playing out. that, but she was quite good on I the tempo. I think she lost the cue ball a little bit. That's why I like to play the yep. two rails, just to have a little better speed control. but. Good opportunity. This is for the win. Savannah Easton, 12 years old, and she got she there. Wow! Time. Wow! What That's a comeback! That's amazing. Wow! Big struggle for both, but at the end she got there. Very nervy. Yeah, she's still serious though. Not, not smiling <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah, she's not too happy yet. Oh, now, yeah. now she can smile. All right. Thank you for being here with me, Christina. Thanks, Tim. And. Uh, well, don't leave us yet. There's one more match coming as soon as possible after this. So do rejoin us for that one. Thank you.